Hi, this is William from New Zealand again. Um, I'm up on top of the roof here and uh, I thought I'd just get a bit of um, a video of the solar panels that I've put up. Um, I've got um, actually 35 panels in total, um, two rows of 10 um, on the northwestern side and another row of 10 also facing northwest but elevated at a slightly more angle. Then further back, I'll just walk back a little bit. I don't want to fall off the end of the roof here. Further back here, I've got another five panels. So it's the three rows of 10 plus the five. It's 35 in total. Um, the 20 panels, the first two rows on the left, they connected to a Solar X hybrid inverter. And the other 15 panels I've got coming into a Studa um, charge controller they just coming in at, um, at a just DC straight to the battery a charge controller to the 48 volt battery the first two that go to the solar X that goes to a hybrid inverter which is an on, on grid off grid inverter um, those two first two obviously feed the inverter for their house charging the battery exporting power and the other 15 just merely get in and charge the battery to assist because I've got an EV car and obviously we require extra to be put into the battery. Um, it's, it works very efficiently. Um, I guess it's not ideally north facing but it's hard to ever get it really north facing. So I think it's kind of um, getting the best direction on your roof that you can get and elevating them as ideal as you can. The ideal elevation in New Zealand, they say, is about 25 degrees there around. But I think mine, some of mine are about 15 and some are about 18. And then some are even flatter. But they all seem to be working about 85%. So, yeah, I'll um, continue part two of this when I get down as to where these are going down to. Bye for now.